For most of us who drive around the Alamo City, it might seem as simple as stop and go, but there's a strategy to every red light you hit and every street you drive on. As part of Public Works Week, KSAT 12's Max Massey takes us behind the scenes at the Transportation Infrastructure and Management Center. Take a look. There are 1,400 traffic signals and 1,000 school flashers across the city of San Antonio. And from this facility, this team is able to monitor their operation. Which manages all the things out there on the street that light up or blink. And we're responsible for the design, the operation, and maintenance of all those devices. Mark Jacobson is the interim assistant city engineer. And a main part of the team that works seven days a week monitoring these screens, making sure our traffic is flowing as smoothly as possible. If we know of an incident or we get a report of slow traffic in the area, we're able to use these cameras to see what is causing that problem and then dis dispatch the appropriate staff. There are 200 cameras at designated intersections that send information here. These visuals vary from accidents to broken equipment to some problematic weather conditions. And we work with our other crews to ensure that we have the appropriate staff on hand for barricade operations and dealing with all the low water crossings and things like that. Low water crossings are a big problem. There are a hundred flood sensors, but also trackers for CPS power outages, weather radar, and minute to minute forecasts. When it comes to traffic patterns and road congestion management, it comes down to several factors, smart engineers, high tech programs, and even popular navigation apps. The Waze app is constantly uh, feeding data about how traffic is moving out on the roadways. So when you're using the Waze app, you're uh, providing us information about congestion and incidents that are going on. It's important to mention, not all roads you drive on are the city's responsibility. The TxDOT is mostly responsible for the freeways in San Antonio. Now, they're also responsible for some of the other roads in town that are not freeways as far as uh, the pavement, uh, like if there's a pothole on Bandera Road, for example, that's a TxDOT facility and they would be the ones to repair it. Each traffic light has a specific programming. There are set schedules based on anticipated traffic patterns of that specific location at that specific time. But this equipment allows for efficiency like if changes need to be made. And the purpose of the vehicle detection is to have our traffic signals operate as smartly as possible. So if there's nobody waiting for a left turn, we don't want to waste time by bringing up a left turn. So next time you're stuck in traffic or frustrated at a red light, just remember there is a strategy and there are people hard at work making sure you and other drivers on the road are as safe as possible. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.